Okay, so I haven't made it any secret on this channel that I really don't like Fedora KDE. But I often try out Fedora KDE when the next Fedora comes out. And I usually do it against my list of grievances against Fedora. The installer sucks, KDE's a third party, you know, third class citizen, stuff like that. So again, I'm gonna try it out. And I have previously tried out Fedora 40 and was kind of impressed actually, just being honest. The installer still sucks and I'm gonna run through the basic installer on a blank hard drive. And then I'm gonna show you where the installer really, really fails miserably. If that's, if you're doing an install of Fedora on top of another install of anything else, whether you're trying to dual boot or not dual boot, the, the installer for Fedora is not good. I'm going to run through this and then I'm going to show you what it looks like when we get to the when we get to the drives partitioning I'm going to show you what it looks like on a blank hard drive versus a not blank hard drive. So we're going to go through this. I really don't like Fedora's installer. So installation destination, yeah, this one if it's highlighted in blue, it's good. No, nope. it's got to have a checkbox. If it's got that checkbox, we're good. Automatic configuration. Okay, fine. If we do a custom, uh, what is a custom Blevet GUI? I have no idea. Let's let's look at a custom Blevet. I don't know what a custom Blevet is. Okay, we're gonna make something here, darn partition type, okay. Okay, yeah. Let's let's go back. And and I'm trying to get out of this because I realize it's over my head. Not really, but we're gonna say this is over my head. So I need to click done again to continue. Okay. Error checking storage configuration. So it's got to check. We're going to select automatic. Free up space by removing or shrinking existing partitions. And then let's go ahead and hit done. So now it's no longer red. red. Uh, root account is disabled. Let's go to uh, user creation. Uh, administration privileges, yes. Require a password, yes. And my normal weak password. Hit done in order to confirm that you want to use a weak password. Yeah, I always confirm it. That's all good. Begin installation. So, we played around with the partitioning so now I'm going to show you we're not going to watch this install and now I'm going to show you what it looks like when you're trying to do an install with the partition manager in Fedora when you already have something on there and the something on there is going to be OpenSUSE Tumbleweed so because why not right okay so I have Restarted. I, I, I changed over to VirtualBox, a VirtualBox that has uh, OpenSUSE Tumbleweed KDE already installed on it. I put Fedora as a as a launcher, so this is Fedora on top of a hard drive that's already that already has OpenSUSE Tumbleweed on it. And here's my complaint. So if I go here, the automatic is the automatic is automatically selected. I mean automatic free up space by removing or shrinking existing partitions. Hit done. And we uh, you can remove existing file systems that you no longer need. I don't want to remove, I want to shrink. Right? 
and it's saying not resizable by all of those and that might have something to do with butter fs it's not resizable i don't know but it'd be nice if it would tell me so i can't do anything with that and it, and it could also tell you you know you should go into a you should boot into that and resize it from there or what have you but yeah i don't know anyway let's cancel because that's not going to help us so let's go custom and hit done which means it'll launch it okay here's here's all the stuff and the unknown is actually where everything's at why is a linux why is a linux not understanding a linux file system and names it unknown i don't get it but you know that might not be fedora thing i don't know but it's just there's not really useful information in here especially for somebody who's new and i've been using linux for a long time but i am not familiar with fedora's installer so that's why i'm complaining about it because i'm basically a new user been using Linux since 98 well that was my introduction to Linux and this feels like I'm just an absolute noob and there's one more to look at we can go to advanced custom the advanced custom actually looks more familiar to me because it looks like uh, a G partition or KD partition manager it's 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 familiar at least and here it is and you can see it you can't resize which is fine but from here i could act i understand what's going on i could remove these partitions one by one start over in that regard and and have something that i can install but i don't think a new user is going to understand this maybe maybe i don't know but i don't like I don't like Fedora's installer, and this is one of the reasons. And the other reason is you got buttons down here and buttons over here. It's just, eh. However, I will give Fedora 40 KDE props in one regard. It is the only system with KDE 6 on it that I have found so far including Arch and most of the Arch derivatives, including OpenSUSE Tumbleweed, and what was the other one? Including KDE Neon, that sees my two-in-one laptop as a tablet in tablet mode. Fedora KDE 40 is the only one. Boom, way to go Fedora. I mean, really. And, that leads me to my next review on a distro. I want to look at Nobara. Maybe Nobara takes care of some of the things that I complain about with Fedora. And the guy that made it, made it because there's things that for, about Fedora he doesn't like. But he likes the basic system. So, I'm going to try Nobara. And I'll get with you and, you know, I'll have that up in a couple of days probably. And we'll see how it is. Should I wait for Nobara 40? Or can I install Nobara 39 and it gets the Fedora 40 upgrades to KDE 6? Um, if you know the answer to that, go ahead and hit me in the comments. Do I wait for Nobara 40 or do I go ahead and install Nobara 39 and just do a, a system update? Let me know. So the last thing I will say about Fedora KDE 40 is the complaint one of the complaints I've done in the past is that the KDE spin of Fedora just felt like third third class citizen just they focus on GNOME that's the GNOME is the only thing they care about and Fedora takes a back seat I mean KDE takes a back seat and isn't very good in Fedora 40 KDE that has been fixed this is nice and I don't know how much of this is um, Fedora is doing and how much of this is KDE Plasma 6. I don't know. But it feels really good. It looks really good. It acts really good. And again, 
the only one to see my two-in-one tablet as a tablet in tablet mode blows my mind still don't like it still not going to put it on my tablet other than the two and a half minutes it was on my tablet to try that out i i may be persuaded it's better than it was 100 percent and maybe Nobara is that bridge that I need for Fedora. Still don't like it, but it's definitely better than it was. So kudos and props, Fedora team. Y'all doing a good job. It's better than it was. That's from me. Th two thumbs up. If you like Fedora and you like KDE, KDE you're probably going to really like Fedora KDE. This is really nice. Uh, let me bring up system settings info real quick. There's your info center. I'm on 6.0.3. I do have an update available. I just noticed. And the way that they update, they update all their packages as one as one package. Not sure how it works, but it works. So we'll go ahead and update it. Does it need a password? Dun, dun, dun. It's up to 22%. Don't look like it's going to need a password, eh? Unless it gets, maybe the password happens in between download and install. I don't know. Let's see. We shall see. 828 packages will be updated. In one... How does that work? Can I see? I can't see the packages. How do you see... Okay, here's another question for the comments. How do you see what packages are going to be updated? Because I can't, I can't click on the tasks and see what's being done and i click on that no nope, more info no nope. that more info might have had the packages list before i clicked apply updates so that is a possibility but it's disappointing that i can't see what it's doing but again other than that i mean kudos fedora you, you did a good job on 40. I'm, I'm not quite ready to switch, but you did a good job on 40. All right, let's go ahead and restart. In, ah, there's the infamous Fedora restart and in, up, install updates. So let's go ahead and do that. It will reboot. This is doing basically what I've done in a couple of videos now for doing safe upgrades like in tumbleweed doing a safe uh, kde plasma upgrade that's what this is doing but it's doing it automatically it's not a bad thing it feels very microsoft windows ish yes i know and i have i have previously complained about that too i take that back this is doing it the safe way I don't know if it only needs to do this when you're installing important bits like kernel uh, desktop environment bits. I don't know if that's the case and, and the other times it doesn't do this or if you use the GUI updater it will do this every single time no matter what. I don't know. I don't know Fedora well enough. Last I knew you can get around this by updating in the terminal not not updating through the GUI so other than that there is that so I'm gonna pause this when we get a working system back up I'm going to uh, continue my record see what see what uh, version of plasma it's on and all that good stuff okay yeah, it's coming back to life now and that took a really long time nobody's ever said Fedora was fast with their updates and all those nobodies are absolutely correct 
So let's see what we're on. Let's see if anything changed as far as the info center goes. 605, I, I don't know. I wasn't paying enough attention. But there it is. That's how the update went. It's really nice. I gotta say. I'm not ready to switch yet. I still like Open Susa Tumbleweed. I just like how Open Susa Tumbleweed works better. Um, and if this wasn't a Fedora dedicated video, I might show you that. And I might take bits of this and show you the Fedora in, in a future video. Show the Fedora installer versus the Open Susa Tumbleweed installer. Um, and then we, we could also do a. You know some of the other installers i don't know anyway that's fedora 40 from my point of view better than it was installer still still blows but fedora kde version spin much better and that's all for this video as always thank you so much for watching